Penn State 2-0 now in the 2021 college football season. They beat Ball State here at Beaver Stadium 44-13. I'm Greg Fickle. He's Nate Bauer from Blue White Illustrated, and we are recapping the Nittany Lions' second straight win, the first home uh, game of the season. 105,000 and change were on hand. It was a loud crowd. It was an active crowd from start to finish. And, Nate, it was a good performance from Penn State from start to finish. Some things I think Penn State fans are going to want to see improve before Auburn comes to town next sure. week. But, sure. by and large, a lot of positives to take away from this. No trap game, no sweat, um, and no problem but for the Nittany Lions to beat Ball State today. Yeah, no question. I, I think that the fact that they got off to the hot start that they did yep. was, was monumental in many ways, right? I mean, Ball State had a couple of opportunities, and that's kind of – the nature of games like this yep. is that teams like that, you're only going to get a few shots in in a game like this against yep. a team like this, and you got to capitalize. And I think that we were both on the same page, sitting next to each other. We just didn't feel like Ball State did that. No, <laughs> some some of no. the decisions, the field goal decisions that they made, um, you know, and just and just kind of the the plan of attack seemed very much for Ball State to be, hey, let's prevent this from being a blowout. Right. Which. Yeah, it felt at no point like they really wanted to win this game. They were just content keeping it close. Yeah, which which is interesting to me because uh, certainly the expectation I think coming in was yes. that this was a team that had the experience and and you know therefore had confidence and you know felt like it could come in here and, and maybe shake things up a little bit. But yep. honestly, uh, the way that Penn State was able to offensively just kind of methodically down the field it yep. really did they did whatever they wanted right. in the first quarter yes um you know which which uh, you know might be something that that you can weigh in on but the fact that they weren't able to do whatever they wanted in the second quarter right uh you know it was it, it just kind of created this lull uh you know really from from the beginning of the second quarter until jesse lucetta's play yes uh you know right right back right here, here right. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know that kind of shifted the dynamic from a game that was maybe in doubt a little bit probably right. not really but yeah. still had potential to be in doubt uh, to not having any doubt yeah I I've been so impressed by Jesse Lucchetta the way he's going from linebacker to defensive end seamlessly and you know this is a guy who's played a lot of football here and when he was asked to move to defensive end he could have very easily pouted it very easily said no I'm not doing that but this guy has just done everything they've asked him to do and he's thriving yeah. and that was the play of the game there's no doubt it it took any semblance that Ball State might have of coming back away yep. and you know you're right I think that's probably the one thing that when you read the Lions Den message board or you check out things on social media that's what people are going to be frustrated by is that second quarter lull and right. there was too many instances I thought where Penn State would get a good drive done, be it with runs, be it with, uh, you know, quick passes, whatever, and then they'd go away from it. Right. And that, I think, is one thing that, you know, Mike Yurcic is playing chess here, and he's putting things on tape for a reason, and he's putting tendencies on tape for a reason, but no at points, it felt like they were starting to develop one, and right. then they'd throw it out the window, and three plays later, they'd punt. So I think that right. was the one thing that needs to be cleaned up moving forward. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any question about that. I, I thought Sean Clifford's uh, runs. Yeah were uh, at times irresponsible in the second half. Yeah. Um, Didn't need them. Right. And, and so, you know, it's easy after a game like this where Penn State wins fairly comfortably yeah. to immediately go to nitpicking, and certainly that's not uh, what I right. want to do. I know, I know plenty of fans are, are going to feel that way, but that was, that was kind of the one thing to me that really right. stood out is, hey, not only should this guy maybe not be in the game, Right, but he definitely should not be in a situation where, you know, he's getting up from a pile after a third and one, uh, you know, shaking out his right leg. So, yeah. uh, but other than that, you know, I, I thought it was a game that that Penn State impressed me, especially after last week, right. with as tough as it was defensively. Penn State was stout. Yep, gave up absolutely nothing. James Franklin mentioned it took the third team unit until yeah. Ball State was able to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Right. Um, you know, so really, I think that you're starting to look at one, a team that's showing some level of maturity. Yep. Game one and game two, because game one, maturity to stick through it in yep. a situation that obviously wasn't good in the first half. And then game two, the maturity to just, hey, okay, this team is not going to give up explosive plays. Right. They're not going to let us into the end zone easily. Yep. Sean Clifford took it, right? Uh, a lot of 10, 15-yard passes. 
I mean, I, I don't know what the stats are for explosive plays, but it's not going to be many right. at the end of this thing. Yeah, um, I think his 41-yard run was probably one of the few. I, yeah, and, and honestly, the longest run for sure. Right. So, yeah, no, the fact that the fact that they were able to kind of weather that uh, gives them, again, a mature, a mature team offensively yep. and then defensively, you know, look out. I mean, I, yep. I, I, I don't good. think that there's any question They're this good. is – uh, a, a pretty good team defensively. I thought Brandon Smith and Curtis Jacobs were much improved today. Uh, we didn't hear Arnold Abiquetti's name as much, but we didn't need to. Uh, the backup yep. defensive guys played really well. I thought Daquan Hardy had a tremendous game. Luketta's interception, obviously, we talked about. So, a lot for Penn State to build on here. It is 2-0. Uh, Ohio State goes down. Iowa, uh, last look, was winning. So, you're kind of starting to get a sense for, after two weeks, kind of what the Big Ten pitcher looks like. Yep. And it's on to the whiteout. Week three, Auburn, 7.30, ABC, right here at Beaver Stadium. I guess, Nate, let's close out with that. Uh, Auburn has pretty much just done whatever it wanted for the last two weeks. And it's a pair of opening games to start the season. But all eyes turn to that now. You yep. had to beat Wisconsin on the road. Yep. Did that. You had to get through this Ball State game. Did that. Yep. Now it's showtime in primetime yep. a week from today. With, with something resembling an off week in right. Villanova. <laughs> At the, at the end of the year, yes. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, yeah, it's this is this is the opportunity that I think Penn State's been looking for uh, after Wisconsin to get. You know, you have to weather Wisconsin. You have to yep. get through Wisconsin. Yep. But this is back at Beaver Stadium. Yep. This is in front of 107,000 people, all wearing white. It's going to be crazy. Yes, it is. We know that. And we'll look uh, at the Steve's the press box if they reinforced it any, because it'll shake a little bit <laughs> next week. No doubt no, about that. No question. No, but it's it's you know look like again, weird year last year, mm -hmm. depressing in so many ways. Yes. Uh, this this felt very much like an appetizer. Yeah. To to something that that should be uh, should meet every expectation next week. BlueWhiteIllustrated.com slash subscribe. Head over there, bwi.rivals.com for all the latest news and notes as Penn State moves to 2-0 and now moves on to Ball, uh, Auburn Week, rather, after beating Ball State. He's Nate Bauer. I'm Greg Pickle, and we are checking out from